day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today I'm going to walk you through a good old friend of mine, Mr. Syslog. I'm working on a problem with a customer. We've got various different equipment, Cisco being one of them. And if they have a problem with it, sometimes whatever's in the log is gone if the device is rebooted or restarted. In this particular case, we have a Cisco uh, 2800 router that uh, seems to be flaking out occasionally and we can't get any clues. So what I used was Syslog from this company, snmpsoft.com, and their product is Syslog Watcher. Now, the nice thing about like about it is they have this personal license which allows you to support up to five devices that can send syslogs to it. So syslog is, is a way of logging from that device remotely to, in this case, this computer. Uh, the reason why I like this particular product is because, not only because it's free, because it supports many different messages. So a lot of syslog products that are free will give you this cryptic kind of code that you have to look up. But in this case, this product does a pretty good job of interpreting what the devices are telling us, in this case, a Cisco router. So I want to show you here what that looks like. So now, the device obviously had restarted, as you can see here, cold start, uh, because the product, in this case the router, had been uh, having problems. Now, what I do have is I've got a log file I want to show you from that same product that we saved after we rebooted the product, uh, the router in this case. So here you go, you can see um, all the standard reboot and restart messages and if I go before that uh, we go back in time if you will you can see that there's some issues here with memory allocation and before syslogging we had no idea that was happening so that leads us to a few options to deal with this problem first being a there's some bad memory in the router that could be it two maybe the Maybe there's not enough memory for this version of iOS for that router. And lastly, maybe there's an old version of iOS on this router with some sort of memory leak or problem. But at least now we have something we can go back to and try and monitor. So this is good old syslog, and in this case we're using it with Cisco router, and it's helping us troubleshoot a problem. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.